morning children seconds are here so this is the third video on the topic respiratory system in the previous video we were talking about the structure of the lung in today's video we are going to talk about the function of the lung now for the lung to perform normally a diaphragm needs to be present inside every organism's body the way this diaphragm works is it separates our body into an upper thoracic cavity and a lower abdominal cavity all the respiratory organs are present in this upper thoracic cavity when the diaphragm moves down it causes inhalation process to occur what is an inhalation you ask uh, for normal breathing process there are two steps which needs to be repeated one is inhalation and one is exhalation in inhalation the air is drawn inside into the lungs whereas in exhalation the drawn is drawn out or exhaled out of the lung the way inhalation works is the diaphragm moves down causing a low pressure zone to be created inside the lung it is due to this low pressure zone that the air is drawn inside the lungs now the lungs is filled with oxygen rich air and the exchange of gases takes place the body gives off carbon dioxide which is filled up inside the lungs and the oxygen present inside the lungs is taken up by the body for use now the process of exhalation begins the diaphragm starts moving up creating a high pressure zone inside the lungs this high pressure causes the air to be exhaled out or pushed out of the lung thus all the air sorry not exactly all but most of the air is moved out of the lung and thus the breathing process is completed now next time again the diaphragm moves down inhalation occurs gaseous exchange occurs inside the lung and the diaphragm moves up causing exhalation to occur this process is repeated for breathing to occur in this experiment the breathing process is being shown in a practical method what is happening is when we are pulling onto the diaphragm below there the low pressure zone is being created inside the uh, the bell jar causing air to be drawn inside this is being shown by the swelling of the balloon presence inside as we are pushing onto the diaphragm the balloon squeezes out and air is drawn outside the balloon why because of the high pressure zone created inside thus we can observe the process of breathing by this simple experiment okay that's all for today's video in the next video we are going to talk about cellular respiration what exactly is cellular respiration Till then, goodbye.